Hi everyone, I'm going to show you really quickly how to use the Casper Focus app um, from beginning to end. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to download Casper Focus. Once you have it downloaded, you're going to open it up. Now that it's open, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to enter this JSS URL that you see on the screen. And once you've done that, you're going to enter your AD username and password. This is the same username and password you use for follow you printing. So, and it will log you in. Okay, now that you are logged in, you will see your class and it should give you your class name. I have several classes. So when I tap over here on the left hand side, you'll see a few things. One, you'll see your, you should see your name. If you have multiple classes, they will appear over on the left hand side and you can switch between your classes just by choosing them. First thing you'll notice about your classes is there's a quick overview of all of your students iPads along with their usernames and you'll also notice uh, on certain iPads which have low battery the low battery icon will appear. When you select on any of the students iPads you'll see exactly how much battery they have left and if you want to individually focus that student, you'll just tap there where it says focus device. But I'm going to go back to the whole class and show you how to focus all of your students on one app. So to do this, you're in your full class view and down in the bottom left hand corner, you tap on focus device and then you just select the app that you'd like your class to focus on. and put a check mark next to that app and then you'll tap on done. It then focuses all of the students onto that app and you'll notice on some of these focus is has failed so if you ever get focus failed messages like on this one over here it's one of two things is the app might not be installed or that student might not have their iPad on. So once they're all focused that is the only app that they can be using. To unfocus the entire class, same spot, you're just going to tap where it says update focus and then you're going to tap right at the top remove focus. This will remove all the focus from the class and then they can go and switch over to other apps of their choice. One other thing that you can do, if you want selected students to focus on a certain app. You can select up at the top right hand corner where it says custom group and from there it gives you uh, the ability to do simple check boxes next to any of the students that you would like to focus on that specific app and then the rest of the process is the same. So you select the students that you would like to focus on a specific app, you tap on focus device and then you choose the app that you would like them to focus on and then you tap done. Then focuses those iPads on that specific app. And then to remove the focus of those of that custom group, you just tap on update focus and then remove focus and done. Okay, one other thing that you can do, I'm going to press exit and if you want to focus an individual iPad like one student out of your entire class. You simply choose that one student and then the rest of the process is the same. You tap focus device and then you choose the app that you'd like them to be focused on showing the check mark next to that app and then done. It then adds the focus to the one student's iPad. And then to remove that you update focus, remove focus and you are done. Then you can go back to your class and continue on.